Hey everybody, KC Games, hello, what's known as KC or whatever you would prefer to call me. And today I am doing a Sims 2 Pleasant View renovation. Today we're doing the Pleasant household. So, basically, if you guys watched my other video of my Green Hill apartment speed build, you will notice that one, I say M about 2,000 times in the space of like 10 minutes of that video. So, yeah, we're gonna try not to do that as much, but I'm not making any promises and secondly you would have heard me talk about how I'm starting to do renovations and speed builds on The Sims 2 for my channel I'll also still be doing gaming videos like for my Xbox and stuff like Dead by Daylight and Fortnite and all of that crap so don't worry if you're into that they will still be coming but right now all I want to do is renovate Pleasant View so I have already recorded this one as obviously I'm talking over it and the Caliente household yes the caliente household and i'm also doing another building but it's not a family building it's just a lot because that's what i'm going to be doing as well i'm not going to be just doing family lots i'm going to be doing like normal lots and community lots if that makes sense so for this build for this renovation even i decided i was like okay one the pleasants they need a garage okay they need a gar garage i don't know why i said a garage they need a garage uh, because, I mean, they've got a big fancy, fancy old house, you know, you you need a garage for a big fancy old house. Also, I like the Tudor and Tudor, 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 I don't, I don't probably not pronouncing that right, uh, feeling with the stone. So I kept that. I didn't actually do anything to the back, backyard at all, uh, the garden, as we call it, as I call it even. I didn't do anything to the back garden because... I kind of like it, I like the feeling of it, I just kind of like expanded the walls and the upstairs a bit so that the girls actually had decent bedrooms because I am sorry but the way Lilith's bedroom looks is absolutely shocking to me, okay? So, you know, we had to go and put a bigger, you know, bigger room. In fact, the girls actually end up swapping sides, I'm pretty sure, and there's an upstairs bathroom. I did want to add a basement as well so I could put like all of Daniel's like workout stuff down there because obviously he's like a coach and stuff and an athletic career but I didn't have enough money and even though I could have used cheats I was like I didn't, I didn't think at the time I was just like you know what no it's fine I'll just I'll work around it so yeah they don't actually have a car in the garage and there's no basement sadly I kind of really wish I did add the basement but it's okay we won't worry about it. Um, Daniel and Mary Sue Pleasant as well have a tinier bedroom and uh, there's a nicer kitchen, there's a, there's a bigger dining room, there's a tiny living room and there's like this little cubby hole, it's like my favourite bit, you'll see me decorate that soon, hopefully. I had to cut out like 30 minutes of like furnishing this house because it was just taking so long and the video was going to be like 40 minutes long and I was like okay we're not having that so yeah I cut out like half of the furnishing but you had to see me uh, build the garage and a couple other things as well I'm pretty sure but at the, you'll see the screenshots at the end also uh, if you noticed in the Green Hill Apartments video and you'll notice at the end of this video as well with the screenshots I still have the red pause outline on my screenshots don't worry when it comes to the Caliente that is gone I downloaded this mod um, that I found from Pleasant Sims. I'll link it into the description. I need to make sure I remember that, but I will. I'll link it into the description. And basically, it's where, like, when the game's paused and everything, the, that little red line you see is gone and it's not there. So you can take nicer screenshots in tab mode. So that was, you know, a must. Uh, oh, there I go with A. Uh, hopefully, that's the only one I've said this whole voiceover because you know i'm getting used to these i'm not used to doing voiceovers i'm used to like live streaming or recording live if that makes sense so it's not normal for me to like go over and watch something and like voice it over it's odd i'm not used to it so hopefully i'm getting better um as you can see here i'm trying to do like the foundation cheat thing where like you can make your garage connect to your house so i was gonna do it and it was working fine and then I tried to add the foundation onto the actual house because I had this big plan for a big nice open living room. But like, it wouldn't work. Like, when it came to like, trying to fix, the, you'll see in a second, like with the garage door. Um, basically, you need to like, do it again on the second floor and fix it. But because like, the upstairs was on like a foundation, it kind of didn't work. 
I know that made like no sense at all but like you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to like fix it to like make it flat but it just it wasn't working for me like at all so I just like kind of jump jump kicked it is that the right word I don't know I don't, that's probably not the right word to where I just like removed all of that and just decided to do the walls in the garage instead because otherwise it just you know w wasn't working uh, so yeah I just decided to jump to the garage being finished if that makes sense because you guys don't want to see me fail in edit and plus I don't really want you guys to see me fail in edit either also, once again, adding in flowers because, you know, for some reason at this minute in time, I have a thing for landscape. I really hope I removed that last flower, but I don't think I did. I did. Okay, good. I was going to say, I really don't like that. Okay. Yeah, I was double checking to make sure I didn't mess up the flowers because, you know, that wouldn't have been too fun. So I'm obsessed with doing flowers like that and they little things. So you're probably going to see that a lot for my builds, especially in future builds. I don't, yeah, I do do it in the Caliente household too. Uh, oh, look, there's, I might have an A counter or an M counter up on the screen somewhere just because it is shocking how many times I say it. I was about to say it again then. I don't know if you heard my voice, like, go say it. Um, so in the garage, I went for, like, the stone slash Tudor theme. I don't know if I'm saying Tudor right, but you know what, that's the new word. So, um, oh for God's sake, I keep saying um. <laughs> I went for the stone and bro uh, wood f theme um, in the garage as well because it kind of just, it went with the house, it went with the feel that I was going for. Also, I did want to have like nice back doors for the back of the house, but it just didn't work. So I used these old, old doors, I put one at the back of the garage and one at the start of the garage as well so you can get in and out. Because I don't want to do like a massive path going from the start of the house to the back. Because I like that the Pleasants are quite like a private household. Like if you've played them, you'll know that like the feel they kind of give off is that they pretend to be this like perfect family and that everything's right in their life when in actual fact it isn't. So they're quite private in my eyes. They're quite a private family. So right now I'm building the walls, the interior, exterior. I don't know which one is. I think it's interior. I'm probably wrong for the house. And like I said, Mary and Daniel Pleasant, their bedroom gets zipped so small. Uh, they have, but they have their own bathroom. And the girls share a bathroom upstairs. They but they have bigger rooms. And I'm trying to think who's is Angela's. Angela's room is like princess perfect. It's all pink and all of that is really pretty. And for Lilith, I went instead of like a black and red, I went for kind of like a dark purpley type of vibe because. Even though she does, even though she is like a goth, I guess you could say, um, she kind of takes me off as the type of person who would have, like, her father, her favourite colour would be purple. So I was like, you know what, we're, we're going to go for purple. I'm trying to think, did I make her room bigger than that? No, I didn't. So yeah, Lilith and uh, Angela ended up actually switching sides of the house because as you've seen, I made like the upstairs smaller. Because they didn't need that big old bit, so also roofs. If you guys haven't noticed this yet, even though I've only done one build so far on the channel, I hate large roofs. Large roofs, they, I don't know, I just don't like them, so I will always make my roof small. There might be a build one day where the roofs will be large, but today is not that type of build. So, also my roof, if you guys are wondering what my roof colours are, um, I'm pretty sure it's the Honeywell set Honeywell best book best book set I'm not sure I'll need to go in and double check the there will be a download link to this house uh, when I get my sim file share code because they have to like send you it to make sure like you're just uploading some stuff which is fair enough so I kind of need to wait for that until the code gets sent to me so I can start uploading stuff so when that is there it might be there now whenever you're watching this video if you're watching it months and later time so if you're watching it mom's later time it's probably there unless it failed and it didn't work then i don't know but there will be a download link in the description but the only thing is the house will be unfurnished i might keep some aspects of the house in because i need to go back in and like remove the furnishing and stuff well i don't have to but i may i'm not sure yet because i use cc and there's certain cc that i don't think i can upload without getting into a lot of trouble if i can you guys will need to let me know how to do it all and i will do it so yeah 
it's really hard. You know what? You know what I've learned? I watch, I love watching Speed Build and what I've learned recently is that it is so hard talking for such a large amount of time. I have to talk for like 20 minutes straight and if this was any of my friends or my family or my boyfriend right now, they'd be laughing. They'd be like, you talk constantly. All you do is talk. You never shut up. So I don't know how you find this difficult because I'm not talking to anyone. I'm basically talking to myself. And yeah, I'm talking to you guys, but it's, it's weird. It's odd. I'm totally not used to it. But, you know, we'll get there in the end. Before you know it, there'll be loads of these and I'll never be able to shut up and stop rambling on. So like I said, I kept like the basic wallpaper and like outdoor wallpaper and feel to the house because I, I liked I liked their house even though in all honesty like see if Daniel wasn't married to Mary Sue I would take him as the type of guy that his house would be pretty like modern it'd be like very manly very bachelor um but because he is with Mary Sue I feel as if like she grew up like in a very nice like nice mannered household and you know the, the oldies are good people you know so I think she likes the old aspect of her house I think they would have like you know got very high in their careers and then bought this old house and it would have been like a thing that gets passed down for generations but we both know that Angela and Lilith aren't you know gonna end up living in this household I don't think you know it depends where you go in your gameplay most of my gameplays Lilith runs away from home or I end up making Angela a teen pregnancy so like they switch sides if that makes sense um but none of them end up living in this home I don't think uh also, I spoke about in my Green Hell apartment uh, video that I was doing a Sunset Valley Let's Play, which I will be doing after I get through the majority of my speed builds and renovations. Not speed builds, sorry, renovations. Because I want to kind of, I don't know if I want to just go into Sunset Valley and play it straight off the bat and like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, just like going off the bat and just play the families. Because then The Sims 3, so I might like do it like 10 years later. I probably won't. I'll probably win and just play it and be like, it's okay, it's cool. We'll just start from scratch. No one needs to worry. So right now I'm decorating the downstairs bathroom. That's what I realised. This house has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Three bed, no, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Or two and a half bathrooms. This one doesn't have a shower, I don't think. It just has two sinks and a toilet. Also, I need to learn to stop spending so much. I love clutter, okay? Like, I really love clutter. You will see in one of my future builds that I am obsessed with cluttering everywhere. Rugs, paintings, flowers, lamps, even, like, stupid little, like, stupid little things. I just, I love clutter. It's my favourite thing to add. And I end up spending all my money on clutter. So, you'll notice when I start to do the girls' room that I start panicking because I don't have enough money for stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, crap. I'm pretty sure I have the girls' furnishing. I'm not sure. I don't think you do see me furnishing upstairs. I might be wrong. I'm probably 100% wrong on that one. I can tell you. So, um, the kind of colour aspect I went was like a lighty, browny, white pre-made colour <laughs> that made like no sense so I kind of keep it all the one colour I'm pretty sure uh, I'm trying to think of what colour I did the kitchen I can't actually remember I did this build like last week <laughs> so from when I'm voice over in it so as you can see I kind of go for like a brown and white theme all my houses that I do they always have like a colour theme throughout the whole house apart from the girls bedrooms upstairs and Daniel and Mary's pleasance room they just that doesn't go with the house at all but bedrooms are a bit different okay bedrooms you're allowed to spread out from your normal colour my bedroom looks nothing compared to my living room totally different colours so you know I think it's I think it's okay also have you guys noticed that I am obsessed and I mean obsessed with the half walls. I don't know what it is, I just, I love using them. I think I end up using them in the Caliente household as well. In fact, no, that's wrong. I don't use them in the Caliente household. I use them in my 107 Simulane build, which won't be out for another two weeks. So, and can I just warn you, I have, I was filming that last night, and oh my god, I was only an hour into filming it, and I've only done, like, the living room and dining room because I'm adding so much clutter to it. Which, there's no point, because when I upload it, you just can't download it anyway before the clutter edit, which is kind of annoying, unless there's a way for me to, like, let you guys download it. Hopefully. I'm not sure. 
You know what else is really annoying? As you could see, I put that I put the coffee thing on the corner because I have this mod that lets me do it. It's an amazing mod. But if you have CC counters, if you have like custom counter counters, it doesn't let you do it. You have to do it with like Maxis counters, and it's so annoying. And I'm like, why, why, why do this to me, game? Why? I'm trying to think what color did I go for for the seats. Yeah, I, pff, I thought I went for them. I like to. I like to keep to my ordinary colours, you know. If I pick a colour, I go with that colour. Even though they two seats actually do not go with the whole house at all. Pretty pointless. Don't know why they're there, but, you know, it's okay. We'll worry about that later. If you guys download the house, it'll be unfurnished, most likely, anyway. So you can put whatever you want in it. Also, that fruit planter pot is my favourite thing. It's so pretty. It's one of my favourite clutter objects. I got it from... Ver Vernatica. I'm not pronouncing her name right. It's basically where all my CC from. All my CC builds, uh, biceps are from her. And she has a Sims 3 Island Paradise conversion, uh, 3 to 2. And that's where that little planter pot is from. Planter pot, that's wrong. Fruit bowl is from. And it's literally like my favourite little fruit bowl in the whole world. I prefer it more than the Maxis one just because it's still pretty and it's got little exhaustic fruits and everything. We're now doing the dining room. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't cut off while we're doing the dining room because the dining room is one of my favourite rooms. I had this painting which I'll talk to you guys in like when I place it that's like amazing. It's so fitting for this household. So also as you can see right now I'm adding CC dining table and CC chairs. That's because um, I have the Sims 2 life stories converted to Sims 2 ultimate collection so you can I'm pretty sure that's somewhere I'll put a link in the description because like it's like all of the stuff that's in Rayleigh's life stories and uh, Vincent's life stories I have it converted onto The Sims 2 it's like a big folder that you can download like I said the link will be in the description I got it because obviously I would, I'm doing my uh, life stories I've like say put all my saves onto my actual PC so I can continue the story of Rayleigh mostly her daughter though so I like done all of that. So as you've seen it cut it then to upstairs. Uh, I finished doing it downstairs. Oh no I didn't get to see my painting. It'll be in the screenshots. Don't worry it'll be in the screenshots. It literally looks like Mary Sue and Daniel. It literally looks like they two together. So right now I'm doing Lilith's bedroom. Lilith's bedroom was my favourite to decorate. Because as you guys know. I have... An obsession with dark colours and dark themes and gothic stuff. So my friends like joke around a lot and call me a goth and an emo. And you know, once upon a time in my time in my life, I was okay. I went through a little phase. I listened to heavy metal, and I, I still do now and again. Not not even heavy metal. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I listen to you know some rock and punk bands, and I still do because that's just the kind of music I'm into. I'm into all music, but. Even though they like to call me that as a joke, it is partly true, which means I do love doing dark and mysterious builds. Like, I cannot wait to renovate the goth household. It's going to be my favourite house to renovate, and it'll probably be my best. So, I'm really looking forward to that. I also decided to add a little flower into Lilith's room, because even though she's very dark and gothy, I kind of feel as if, you know, she would have a little flower in her room. I also gave her a pretty one of my favourite CC tables ever. I need to figure out where I got that from because I cannot remember. But it's literally like my favourite table. Just that little colour on it, like the little henna thing. I also put a a Aesol. Air Aesol, Aesol. I don't know. Aesol sounds like I'm saying Arsol in a very odd accent. So painter bit, and <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it, because I can't remember what it's called. It is an Aesol, but I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. Because in my opinion, Lilith would be, you know, a low-key painter. She's in, she's into her paintness. So that's that's what we went for. So, yeah. I think she'd, like, low-key be a cute little painter. You know, she would, like, want to paint. And she'd use her inspiration of, like, how she hates her sister and family to paint and make good paintings. She kind of she kind of takes me for, like, a creative person. So right now, we're, right now, right now, we're doing Angela's bedroom, which Angela's bedroom was kind of fun to do as well because you got to do it really girly, but I always do really girly room for my sims. I never really make any of my sims gothic, which I'm going to start doing because I just found out I have loads of Maxis matched, did downloaded CC for multicolored hair, which I didn't know I had, which is great, so you know I'm going to be jumping on that trend. 
So for Angela's room, I just went like some nice books and um, a nice little desk. Uh, vian vian vianity vianity. I can't pronounce it. Vianity table. The one where you get to do like that big table. You do your makeup and stuff. I can't remember what it's called. It's vianity, but I can't pronounce it. My pr- pronunciation is shocking, as you can tell. So yeah, a little big shelf, a little desk, a nice little pink sofa I had in a minute too, that makeup table, and a nice little double bed. They both have double beds, and the reason I can put the beds next to the walls and stuff is because I have a a mod that's uh, for an inac- inaccessible bed, which means they can get into the bed no matter where it is, so if it's blocked by two walls, they can still get into it. So it makes life amazing, because you, ne- you can put a double bed next to a wall and they can still get to it. So, yeah, so I had like a little, um, I had a little pink sofa, and do I add paintings? I do add paintings. So you can see here I'm running low on cash, and that's when I realised I was like, ah, oh, shit, excuse my French, I'm running low on cash. So I start freaking out, and I'm like, okay, we'll just, we'll finish the room basic, we won't go over the board with paintings and stuff. I'm pretty sure I still do. I can't quite remember. Lilith's room was my favourite. I hate that rug though. I wish I didn't put that rug in. That rug kind of ruins the room. It's too much of a bright purple for me. Also, I love that clock. I, I keep putting it everywhere. Everywhere I can. Like, clock, clock. My sims don't even set alarms. It's just the fact that, you know, the clocks are cute. And I actually did put lighting in this house. I didn't put lighting in my Caliente house, which, if you watch my Green Hill apartment speed build, you'll notice I realised that, but no. I did, I put lighting in this house too, that's what I'm doing right now, before I run out of cash, <laughs> but I'll need to go back and put that in my Caliente one. So we're coming to the end of the build now, there's not much longer to go, and then we'll be in the screenshots. Please show the painting, I don't think I'm going to show it, I want to show you guys before the screenshots, but there, that, you get to see kind of downstairs when I stuff out the screenshots there. So I kind of like downstairs, it's like an orangey brown, white, cream, every single colour type of going for. And Daniel and Lilith's, Daniel and Lilith's, no, Daniel and Mary Sue's is blue. Because, you know, Daniel's really sporty and stuff like that. So, you know, he's he wants to have a proper masculine bedroom, as you do. So, also, at the cubby hole, which you'll see in the screenshots, but it's got like a little bookshelf and a beer bag here, is my absolute favorite but anyway this is the end of the build if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video when it comes out and i will see you guys all in the next one bye guys